Good morning, everybody. This is your girl, Ashley. I know you guys see me in a different light right now. <laughs> no one's ever seen me except for, you know, close, close people have seen me in rare form. Um, right now, I do have a satin bonnet on. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests of people asking me how I do my makeup and how I do my hair. So I think I'm going to make this a two-part video. I'm going to do my makeup first, and then I'm going to do my hair. But I'm going to talk about everything right now. Um, last night, um, I washed and detangled my hair, and I twisted it up. So this is rare form. This is the only time you'll probably see my hair like this. But this is what I do on my twist outs. My hair is twisted up. My little brother calls them little Cheetos. The how I obtained this is I wash and detangle with Suave Professionals. Um, this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. Um, the ingredients I'm not really too worried about. Um, it does have some sulfates in it, but it doesn't do anything to my hair. If your hair is very sensitive to sulfates and things like that, then you know I would stay away from those products. Um, but I've been using it for a couple months now, and it hasn't really been drying out my hair because I moisturize my hair so much. Um, I did that, and I detangled with the conditioner. And while I was doing my twist out, I um, sealed in moisture with 100% coconut oil. And it works very, very good for me. Um, I actually changed my oil from jojoba oil to olive oil, so now I'm using coconut oil, and I like coconut oil the best. It does moisturize my hair. And to seal in more moisture and to, you know, get my twist to stay or whatever, I use, I always use Curl Enhance and Smoothie um, by Shea Moisture. It's inexpensive. You can get it at Target as well. Um, the coconut oil I got at Tyson. Um, but let's get this started. Um, I'm going to do my hair, not my hair, but my makeup first. I am in rare form, as you can see. No makeup on, no nothing. And um, I wash my face with, just in case you guys are wondering, with L'Oreal um, 360 Clean with this little scrub thing. Um, this one doesn't have the exfoliating beads in it. But I did go and get this one, and I haven't opened it yet because I'm going to use the rest of this one. So, um, that's been keeping my face pretty clear, um, as long as I don't go down to Georgia, because when I went down to Georgia, my face broke out. <laughs> but, um, we're going to get started. When I normally do my makeup, um, I use, before I apply my makeup, Milk of Magnesia. Um, it is used as a laxative, but I was in a cosmetic store. And a customer came to me and she was like, you know, I was telling her I have really, really oily skin. And she was like, well, try this, you know. So I looked it up. I don't really try anything everybody tells me. But I looked it up and researched it. And I've been trying it for the last six months. And I can see a major difference in my skin and how I can, when I apply my makeup, it doesn't oil up as much. So all I can do is pour it in a little um, measuring cup like this. And you take cotton balls. I use maybe two or three. Um, I just dip it in and I just apply it to my face. Um, you want to use a thin layer. You don't have to use a lot. And um, it does, when it's starting to dry, um, it does leave a white residue. But you don't have to worry about that. Is because when I apply my foundation, I apply it on top of it. And it doesn't really, doesn't really bother it as much. But I apply a thin, but a good amount on my face. And also with applying this, um, <clears throat> it um, helps with the smoothing of your makeup when you're applying it. Because if you can see the white residue anywhere, it's forming on my face there. And then there. I don't worry about it, and I just wash the cup out with what's left. And then after that, I just kind of wave my face so it can, you know, finish drying. And then I also went to Walmart. I wish I would have got the bigger kind, but I use 
the wedges. I don't really use a brush anymore. Maybe I'll go back to a brush. But the foundation I'm going to be using is Bobbi Brown. And this is Almond 7. Um, it does has FPS 15. I'm in it, um, natural finish long lasting foundation, SPS 15. Um, before then, I was using MAC. And um, this is Studio Sculpt. Um, this is NW45. Um, but I'm going to use Bobby Brown today um, just to talk about the difference of the foundations. Um, I thought I was a MAC fanatic. And I still am, but just not with the foundation as much. And Bobby Brown is like running out. Oh, no. But, um. Okay, now I have a lot more in this too, and that acts like it doesn't want to come out. Like, look how much is on there. Like, I'm going to have to go to the mall and get some more. But I just apply it on my face. I normally do it in an upward position. Besides my nose. But I need more foundation. Like This foundation, if it is gone, it like didn't really last that long. It's trying to come out. Um, the difference in the foundations, um, MAC is to me is a little bit more cakey and it looks cakey on your face. When this looks very natural and smooth. I'm pretty much finished applying it on my face. Because I, I put other products on, so I don't really need a lot of foundation. And I'll kind of get my neck as well, so it can all look even. So there you go. I need a towel. Or else I'm going to have foundation everywhere. But I think my foundation is gone, y'all. It wasn't really that bad. I think it was like $20, $30. After I do that, I was watching... Um, I don't want to say her name wrong, but I think her name is Ambrosia. Um, Bronze, you know, I think it's her YouTube name. And she was doing the five-minute um, makeup challenge. And she was going, she was using like the lipstick, I think it was Neutrogena, Neutrogena's concealer. And I went to Walmart to find it, and I couldn't find it, not even in Target. And I ended up getting a substitute, which would be the CoverGirl. I know it's a little messy, but it's the CoverGirl's, um, it's the same thing in case, you know, your Walmart runs out. I got it in medium, which is seven fifteen. I normally just take it. And apply it under my eyes. I'm gonna try and make this quick. Then once I do that, I just take my finger and apply it and start rubbing it in. So it can kind of blend. Um, in my opinion, you blend it as well as you want. But sometimes I leave mine a little, a little bit more white underneath, because I like the whiteness, I guess, how light it looks underneath my eyes. And I put it on my nose as well. And when I think that it's to the way that I want it, I kind of, and I go down to about my cheekbone, 
and I'm done with that. So after I do that, I take a foundation brush and I'm using MAC. I think it's the MW45 as well as the foundation, the powder. And I just take it and I kind of just blend it in. I don't use too much of this because I still want to look naturalish, I guess. I'm about to take it and kind of blend it in. After I do that, um, I used to use the Lash Blash, the, the one in the orange. Um, I really, really dig that one since it came out like a couple years ago. But then I started really liking the purple one, which is Lash Blash Fusion. So after I do that, I take some and I apply it to my eye. I know my music ain't stopped. And you can apply as much as you want. I'm sorry, but I have to get my eyes and make sure they're right. And then I do not apply mascara to the bottom of my eye. Or simply it sometimes. Hold on. I don't really worry about getting mascara on my eyelids because I put eyeshadow on. Okay. So after I do that, I kind of wave again, wave again. I'm pretty much done. And I just... Whatever eyeshadow I want to use. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I take my blush. I do wear blush now. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is the MAC Dirty Plum MAC um, Blush. It's like a plum-like color. And I really, really love it. So I just apply it to my cheekbone. Some people smile and do it. Some people do the Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's what I call it. I apply that. I do have an eyeliner pencil, but I don't really wear that on a day to day basis. This makeup I pretty much wear on a day to day basis. And because, because I cannot find my eyeliner, not eyeliner, my eyelash brush for my makeup, I have to use my fingers. A little ghetto, but. I'm using this MAC, my little thing fell out, but this is MAC. It's the purple and gold, you can see. It's the purple and gold, and I usually just put it on my finger, it's the purple. And I just apply it, and I'm kind of glad that I kind of lost my MAC brush, because applying it this way looks better than applying with the brush. Applying with the brush. Because I'm not going so hard today, I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyes. And that's that. And I'll sometimes, just for a highlight, I'll use the gold. And apply it as well. 
all about blending and getting that light color. There, and I'm pretty much done. That's my face. Now, this, this video is already 15 minutes, so I'm going to do a part two of my hair. So, um, if you have any questions of the products that I use and where you can buy them from, or any substitutes, just let me know. Hit me in the inbox and um, write me comments. Alright, peace out. Okay, stay tuned to part two, though.